Hi guys, just a quick John McLaughlin-esque 251. This lick is 150 beats per minute starting on a downstroke with strict alternate picking. The chords for this are B augmented with a sharpened ninth with E as or E dominance as augmented or a seventh with a sharpened fifth. Going to A major seven. Now over this chord, I'm using a simple B minor scale or B minor pentatonic-esque scale. Deliberately because we have this augmented sound and the sharpened ninth. So I've got the F sharp, the G for the augmented sound and the A for the seventh. And you can see how it slots in nicely. So that's the first part. And you'll notice I'm accenting the third note in each four note grouping. And that will hold the rhythm stable. Okay, now the next chord. Now over this, I'm gonna use F melodic minor. So the first part, it's basically whole tone scale in this F melodic minor because it's just going in whole tones here. And it breaks up from that pentatonic um, sound so it's not monotonous. So we have, now we cross the string and then slide this last C up a semitone for the note C sharp in the A major seven chord. So the whole lick slowly. In conclusion, it's amazing what you can play over a 251, and practicing 251s is extremely good for alternate picking, especially around the 140 to 150, 160 beats per minute um, time, tempo, because you really think about rhythm and connecting the chords together, or in this case, connecting the improvised line together through the chords. Um, and it's amazing what you can play over quite uh, complex chords in terms of using, like I used here, a simple um, sort of B minor pentatonic-esque scale. Um, it doesn't always have to be complicated. And it's the same with your E augmented, really, with this F melodic minor. It's quite, it's more like a pattern, this one. And it's not really that musical to a degree, but it fits nicely and it's easy to play. So when you practice these two five ones, you get good at improvising and you find what works and what doesn't and it's great for the alternate picking and it's great because you'll find simple ways to apply this to quite complex music really I suppose or rhythmically complex when you're trying to connect it together with the alternate picking. So yeah that's why I do a lot of 251s on my channel and that's why I like the 251s because you learn so much through it. You get the picking down and you get good at music at the same time so yeah it's uh, they're great to practice, great exercises. Anyway, if this video was of any use to you, then please smash the subscribe button because that really does keep the channel going. Click the like button because that helps with the algorithm. Click the notification button if you like the video and write a comment if you want. And I'll see you all in the next video. And thank you for watching.